Today I'm working on a 2007 Mercedes S550. Just replacing the motor mounts on this. This one is all wheel drive. And um, I'm gonna show you how, how I got the motor mounts out of here. Um, the factory procedure for this looks kind of crazy. It looks like they want you to remove the exhaust manifolds and stuff like that. And I didn't really wanna do that. So what I ended up doing is pulling the axle on the passenger side. And I'm, I'm not sure there's probably another way to do this. I'm just showing you how I did it. And it wasn't that, it wasn't that difficult because um, you can't get the engine lifted high enough with the axle in place because it bumps up against the uh, frame rail here when you try to hoist the engine up. So with that axle pulled and the other one still in, you know, it didn't touch the suspension on this side. I just pulled that chassis plate here that holds the, um, the steering rack. I ended up pulling the, you know, mark where your, uh, mark where your steering um, input is, you know, for your steering shaft on the splines. So you get that right again and your steering wheel's not off. But um, pull that off, pull the mounting bolts for this, for that plate. And then you can, um, you can sneak the mounts right out through there. Let me get a little flashlight. <clears throat> they were up there. And you can pull them right through the front, right through this opening. So once you hoist up the engine, that's kind of the way I did it. The, the screws aren't that difficult. The, the bolts aren't that difficult to get to from the top. You, um, the only thing that is a little bit tricky is the top one here. This bolt that goes through the top of the mount it's on top of a, the exhaust manifold kind of covers it so even if i lowered this down i couldn't really show you because the exhaust mount goes over the top of it but um i ended up using a a stubby wrench and kind of prying on it with a pry bar to get it to bust loose and then after that you can spin them out if they're in decent shape you can spin them out one of them fought me a little bit and i ended up taking a i ended up taking a cheap little um S wrench and, and cutting it so I could get it in there and then I was just using this to get that upper bolt off. The other two are just regular you know 13 millimeter heads so I just did that with a swivel socket from the top. You don't have to pull anything other than the air box off to get to those and then uh, and then yeah so lift up the engine from the bottom pull the steering rack down pull that one axle out of there it's not difficult at all to pull the axle I um this control arm, this back control arm had a bad ball joint anyway, so I was replacing it. So this whole thing was very easy because once I pulled that off, I was able to move the, move the, uh, you know, move it out of the way far enough to sneak the axle right out. So to get it, to get the axle out of the, uh, out of the, um, differential here, you just use a, a small pry bar and you get up right through here like this and just pry on it a little and it just pops right out. So. That's it. Thanks for watching.